a strange ride and we actually started last century that's probably before some of you were born um, and we were thinking about that we needed something to collaborate among the uh, users at University of Konstanz. So first of all we have lectures, we have seminars and we have meetings and for all of those it's always nice to have some notes and it's not always the same person who wants to take notes and at some point you need to add something. So then there was this great tool called Etherpad which came out and which we installed. Of course that was end of life from the beginning and we were not very happy. At some point the cloud solution came out and we had web ODF to install on it and we were very happy. And then what happened again? Web ODF, of, as you probably know, more or less started sleeping as the Sleeping Beauty. Um, so we were still looking for the excellent collaboration solution where we could work together on a document, but also chat. If there was something to notice about the document, we could chat. And of course, there was the option to go with the big guys. And as we are the kind of privacy-liking guys, and, and we are very big fans of federations, federations namely being the same thing as what one of the first email, uh, one of the first internet protocols started, namely email, we thought that this is not the right way. It's not the right way to put everything to a big corporation and have no longer the, co uh, the control of your data. XMPP was for us the right way of going. XMPP as the extensible mark uh, messaging and uh, presence protocol, a uh, protocol which from the beginning and in turn uh, and directly supports federation so you can have control over your data, over your chats, over your uh, communication and at the same time be able to talk to everybody in the world who is also using the same protocol. Since many years uh, we have a nice client, JSXC, the JavaScript XMPP client that integrates very nicely into several applications, including, of course, Nextcloud, which now has our biggest user base. But integrating an application which has um, requires to sign up at another server is something that's not very easy to be done. So we started this small side project, and I'll tell you about that side project and what possibly great future might come from that. So this is what a uh, typical Nextcloud will look, uh, setup will look like. So you will have the Nextcloud installation, you will have a user database, and maybe you're feeding it from an LDAP or Active Directory uh, instance. But more importantly, this user base is not only LDAP and Active Directory behind, but we have a lot of data additionally in the next cloud. We have the web app tokens, uh, we have groups that we create additionally, and um, yeah, of course we have local users as well. Sorry, I need to read my own writing. <laughs> Professors can't read their own handwriting, um, <laughs> not even on their slides. Um, so, Okay, so we need to pass on that information as well, not just the information that we get from there. So when we started to create JSXC, the first idea was, hey, at the login, we'll hook into it, we'll grab the password from the login panel and then pass it on along to the XMPP server to authenticate. That has the disadvantage that if you close your laptop screen for a few minutes, that connection will time out. And then you have to re-log in, but the password is no longer there. Of course, you might want to store that password, but if you're in the browser, the only thing to store it is in a way that all JavaScript in all of your browser essentially can access it, which is, of course, a no-no. Um, we needed a different solution. So we came up with the XMPP Cloud Authentication client. Um, and the idea was to pass on the information that came from an original authentication source, was augmented by the next cloud, and in addition to some uh, time-limited tokens that we generate, um, which solves the password problem, pass it along 
to the uh, XMPP server using our next uh, X, uh, XMPP cloud authentication app. And then have Prosody and so on use the information and at the same time be able to have the groups that are in the next cloud created as groups as well for the chat. And because we were bored, or, or uh, we also started creating additional information, uh, we noticed that the same protocol that we used to talk to the uh, XMPP clients was very similar to what is being used in the mail service environment. So now we can have an entire mail server, and my family mail servers are operated like that. Uh, our, these mail servers don't have their own user database, but they directly access the user database that is used by Nextcloud. And maybe there are a few more options that can be useful. So we started off trying to make collaboration, but in the end, we ended up creating a new single sign-on solution that we think is very nice for small and medium enterprises or families where you don't have to set up some other authentication source, but you have the nice uh, way of dealing with the Nextcloud users app and just have those as a backend. Thank you very much.